Reporting from the newsroom. Reporting from the newsroom. Reporting from the newsroom in Champaign, I'm Emily Thornton, and this is the Daily Line vidcast for Thursday, March 14th. Argentine Jorge Mario Bergoglio was elected as the new pope on Wednesday, choosing the papal name Francis. Pope Francis, Francis is the first pontiff from the Americas and the first from outside Europe in more than a millennium. The chief Illinois referendum results were released today. More than 9,000 students voted in favor and more than 2,500 voted against the referendum. Appellate Josh Good alleges that the Illinois Student Senate was not within its constitution in supporting Campus Spirit Revival's mascot search, considering that students have reaffirmed their support of the chief on referendum questions in 2004 and 2008. Good said that now the referendum's results have been released, his next step would be to follow the case to its conclusion. Hundreds of building and food service workers from the Service Employees International Union 73 held a solidarity rally at the Atlanta Union on Wednesday to end their three-day strike. SEIU workers had been on strike since Monday and saw the rally as an opportunity to share the latest developments throughout the strike and to thank the members for their support. SEIU strikers are expected to be back at work today. Illini women's basketball seniors Charisma Penn and Adrian Godbold will not be ending their basketball careers after graduation this May. Illini coach Matt Bolant says that both players have the skills to play overseas or in the WNBA. Bolant said that he's determined to help find his seniors good agents. The eighth-seeded Illini men's basketball team will take to the court at the United Center today against the ninth-seeded Minnesota Gophers. The two teams split during their regular season play with each with wins on the opponent's home court. Tip-off for the opening round of the Big Ten Tournament in Chicago is at 11 a.m. For today's weather, you can expect a high of 38 and a 70% chance of snow, according to the National Weather Service. For the Daily Illini, I'm Emily Thorne, and this has been your Daily Illini vidcast.